Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, I'm back with another plant review or better online shop review. So today I'm going to show you three plants that I bought from Harmony Plants. That's an online shop that I found recently through Instagram and I wanted to try out because they have a really nice selection of rare aeroids and um, yeah, that's what I did. So here we go. There was a restock on 9th of January and I thought I will take my chance and throw all of my intentions to not buy as many plants in 2021 overboard and then I bought three plants and I want to show you what I received today and share my experience, how the packaging was, how the shipping went, everything. So enjoy! I bought three plants. Um, I bought a philodendron El Choco Red. I bought a Syngonium Aurea and a Philodendron Splendid. So I splurged quite a bit. These were also quite pricey plants. I will um, show the prices somewhere here. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. Let's start with the biggest one. And I will show you. This is it. This is the Philodendron El Choco Red. And um, yeah, this leaf looks quite beaten up. This one is fine and this might be the, the newest one. It looks really nice. Almost nothing happened to it, so I think it shipped really well. Um, what you see here, that's not from shipping. That's, I don't know. It had uh, just this growth point when it arrived and then uh, the new leaf started coming out and it got stuck as it does and yeah it ripped itself pretty badly as you can see it looks awful i don't know i hope the other half will be all right um yeah i just hope that the next leaf will be better i have given up on this one but other than that this plant looks super healthy it has no pests so far it um, came in soil it has quite a big chunky stem so yeah and it's i mean it's gorgeous it has this bright red petioles and usually it gets like more red backsides i don't know what's going on with that but we will see it might like mature a little bit and then will look a little bit different but so far yeah this is really sad i'm um, yeah but what can you do um, yeah, but other than that, I'm happy with the plant. I'm happy with the size of the plant. Um, yeah, I hope she will be happy with me. On to the next plant, we have this Syngonium aurea. Uh, here we go. I already have the Syngonium variegata and it grows so fast and it's so happy and healthy and it just lives its best, best life that I thought yeah well maybe I should buy more Syngonium you know and then I saw this one on sale and I bought it it's um, it has decent variegation I mean there were not uh, many left because on the website they only sell like five plants and then you have to choose your exact plant and if it's gone then it's gone so you have to be quick and uh, <laughs> Before I could like even put everything into the basket, half of it was already gone again, so I had to choose another plant. So you have to be really quick with the restock and then buying the plant if you really want it. Um, yeah, you uh, actually have to choose the exact plant that you want because she has like six different plants, and then you can choose I want number five, and then that's what you're going to get. So there's pictures for the exact plant, which I find really helpful because you really know what you are getting and you know the state of the variegation and what you are paying for because obviously rare plants are not cheap at the moment um, so it would be a shame if you get it and then there's like less variegation that you maybe hope for you know the drill so this is really nice okay so um, it looks really nice. It's a decent size for 100 euro. I think it's pretty Good price and good plant from the size and it was already rooted. It came in sphagnum moss in this pot and It has super good roots and Here is a new 
leaf that's coming and yeah it's I think it's gonna be a big leaf as well I don't see a lot of variegation yet but you know with the zigoniums it can come and go I'm not too worried about that um, yeah and it comes in more of a green variegation and then after the time it fades into those yellow cream colored variegation and I mean yeah I hope it's as healthy as my other one and then they can be best friends and live happily ever after um yeah that's basically it <laughs> I actually don't need those glasses because they are not for my side they're just blue filter glasses so I'm sorry let's do it like this I need to breathe more because I'm so excited and I'm just talking away and I <laughs> forget to breathe and then I'm out of breath and I sound crazy so I'm sorry I need to breathe the last plant that we have on the list is none other than whoops, this beautiful plant right here. It's a philodendron splendid. This is a cross between philodendron varicosum and melanocrysum and it has nice velvety leaves. It's a little bit dark in color. I mean, you can see the characteristics of those parents, I believe. It was also shipped in moss and it, these are all the leaves that I got so it's quite a big plant it's not like you get a cutting or a just rooted cutting with like one more leaf it's really a really nice sized plant so I'm really happy about that um, obviously I had to make a moss pole immediately because it has really nice aerial roots and then I made a self-watering moss pole you can see it has a hole on top and then there's um, a rope that goes inside the water reservoir and then also outside here on the stake and under the moss and it soaks up the water into the moss and it's self-watering so this is nice and moist and also it's leaking a little bit so <laughs> it's leaking into the moss in the cup which is also kind of good because it's self-watering the moss on the bottom as well which is a win for me yeah um, all of these plants are really really well rooted so the roots in the moss are great they are really big um, the El Choco I checked it I pulled it out of the soil <laughs> it's like a lot of roots really a lot of roots so I'm really happy with this Oops. It's really nice. I love it. So these were the three plants that I bought. I'm really pleased with the quality and the size, the roots. So far I haven't spotted any pests or anything, which is also a plus. I ordered on 9th of January and she held, or the seller held the plants back for, I don't know, one, two weeks because the weather was so cold. I think that's really responsible of her because you don't want the plants to suffer cold damage so if you can hold them back and then ship them out later I will wait for plants any day of the week because you know if that means that I get a healthy plant in the end and I don't need to send it back or like refund or anything that's a win for me so I will wait gladly wait for my package the packaging was uh, extraordinarily good it was packed in all paper no plastic even the tape was papery um, very sustainable which I do like and um, also really well insulated the whole package like every plant was packed individually in paper and then inside this paper was shredded newspaper to further insulate and this whole thing was then in a blanket of felt which isolated even more so it wasn't even necessary to put a heat pack in and all of the plants arrived in perfect condition no cold damage at all even though it was like below zero outside um, or like almost below zero which is really 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 freaking good and I would definitely recommend so that's a 10 out of 10 for me I also did an unboxing on Instagram. If you want, you can check my reels on Instagram. My name is at Luster, so check it out. And then you can see how nice and how cute they was packaged uh, actually, because there was like little stickers with my name and thank you and everything. It was really cute. Well, that leads us to the end of this review. I will definitely 
recommend this plant shop. Um, I'm pleased with the quality, pleased with the shipping and also the selection of plants that you can choose from their website. If you like this video then consider liking and maybe smashing the subscribe button. Oh gosh, I always wanted to say this because every YouTuber ever says this on the end of every video but you know you can gently click the subscribe button if you would like uh, to see more of me and my plants and yeah i will be doing content probably like every other week and until next time uh, bye